best to understand the addition and subtraction of positive and negative numbers, we need to remember that addition and subtraction are inverse operations, which means they undo each other and that they are related. They balance each other out. So if we had 12 and we take 2 away to get 10, well, I started at 12, took 2 away, and I got 10. So I used subtraction. Now, to go back to my original number from what I got, I could take my result and I can add back 2. And that brings me back to 12. So we started at 12, took 2 away and got 10. And to go back to 12, instead of subtracting, we added back the 2 that we took away. So addition and subtraction are inverses of each other. Another thing we should remember is the order of operations. Well, the most basic operations that come last are addition and subtraction. And they're inverse operations where they undo each other. Next we have division and multiplication. They're inverse operations and they undo each other. For example, 5 times 2 gives me 10. To go back to 5, instead of multiplying by 2, I would divide 10 by 2, and that would give me 5. Next we have square roots and exponents, or I should say roots and exponents. And last we have parentheses. In other words, at the top of this pyramid is the highest order in the operation. Parentheses comes first, then the square roots and exponents, then division and multiplication whatever order they appear in, and then addition and subtraction, whatever order they appear in. Keeping this in mind, if we get a problem that has multiple numbers, we can think about what we should be doing in order to solve a problem. So let's say we have this problem right here. We have three parentheses that we have to deal with in order to solve it. 5 plus negative 2. There's two ways to think about this. Well, on a number line, well, there's many ways to think about it, but I, I guess two that really strike me. Five plus negative two, here's five, and I'm adding negative two. Well, when you're adding negative two, you're decreasing the value and making two hops to the left. So I know that five plus negative two is positive three. But also I should remember that addition and subtraction are inverses. So five plus negative two the same thing as 5 taking away positive 2 or 5 minus 2. So this is 3 next to the second power. Minus negative 3. Well, often we get to this parentheses right here. People will wonder, what do I do? Because I should solve the parentheses. Well, there's nothing to do. The number is already set up, so leave it alone. Adding 10 minus negative 1. Again, the two as I think about this. I picture a number line, and I have 10, and I'm taking away negative 1. Well, taking away 1 would be hopping down to 9, but we're not taking away 1. We're taking away negative 1, which is the opposite of 1. So we're in fact, we're hopping in the other direction, because we're thinking of subtraction as a movement, and the answer is 11. Another way of thinking about this is to remember that subtraction and addition are inverses. So subtracting a negative is the same thing as adding a positive. So 10 minus negative 1 equals 10 plus 1. And this is 11. Now we deal with the exponents. 3 to the second power is 3 times 3, not 3 times 2, and it's 9. Minus a negative 3. Well, that's kind of what we had here, except we didn't write those parentheses around the 1. So I'm just going to solve this part. Minus negative 3. Minusing a negative, as we said already, is adding. So it's 9 plus 3, and then plus 11. 9 plus 3 is 12, plus 11 is 23. And that's our answer. So one thing we should take away from this is this connection that when you're subtracting, you can add the inverse. So if you have, for example, 15 minus negative 11, whether it's in parentheses, oops, whether it's in parentheses or not, you can remember that instead of subtracting a negative 11, you could add the inverse of negative 11, which is just 15 plus 11. And the answer would be, in both cases, 26. 
So if you had negative 3 plus negative 2, well, here we could think of it as negative 3 minus 2, and we get negative 5. I switch the operation to its inverse, and then just change the other number from negative 2 to its opposite, positive 2. If I had, for example, 15 minus 11, I could think of this as 15 plus negative 11. Same thing either way. 15 minus 11 is 4. 15 plus negative 11 is also 4. And all I'm doing is switching the operations and then switching the second number to its opposite. 